Hey guys, I just got back home from work. Um, it, the sun is it's around five o'clock. The sun is going to be going down very soon. But before I lose steam, I figured I would walk you guys through my nighttime skincare routine. Um, ignore any bruising that I may have. I did a recent sculpture treatment, which we will talk about some other time um, more in depth. It's just beyond the scope of this video. So first things first, I usually shower in the morning. Oh, hi, Mimi. What you saying? What did you say? Oh, 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 oh. So I was saying, I usually shower what in the morning and at night, when I come home from work, I like to do my nighttime skincare routine. Oh, this I want to show you. So what do we do when we come home? We put up our hair and wash our face. Yeah. I feel like if you come home and jump straight to the couch, you are never going Please. to wash your face or do your nighttime skincare routine until it's like midnight. Can I have this please? Um, you're never gonna wash your face. I was saying until it's like midnight. Where is something so I can sit on? Can we sit on something? You can sit wherever you want. Go get a stool and come back. Okay. So basically, you do your nighttime skincare routine the minute you come home, so that you know that the products that you are using have the time to actually work. The biggest trick has to do with retinols because. You, or retinoids rather, um, the prescription strength retinols, um, because, retinoic acid, because you need to use retinoic acid once the sun has gone down. Um, everything else can technically be used during sun, daylight, Sunday. I'm so tired. Um, but yeah. She's back. Okay, so. I love your bathroom. I love it's you. It's so beautiful. I love this bathroom. I wish you can have this bathroom. When I was a big, 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 big like you. Step one, we take off our makeup. Oh, so this is, you can have a little bit for you. Boop, boop, boop. Is this on my hand? I'm so sorry, it's on your hand. Okay, wipe it off of me. I take off my makeup, I wash my face, and then I go through my nighttime skincare routine. Um, because I'm telling you guys, I have to do my nighttime skincare routine the minute I get home because I will otherwise drag and more likely than not, I will wait till the final hour to do it. And I will do it. You're gonna do it. I will do it straight, I said, and actually I've been All done right. with. So first things first, I love Bioderma. Oh, this is not Bioderma. This is not Bioderma. This is Karen. Karen, this is Garnier, uh, my cellar water. I actually prefer the one by Bioderma. And I hate that they're both with a pink cap because as I just did right now, I oftentimes confuse them. Not as equally in my book, good. I do not think it works as well as the Bioderma did you, one. Did you put this on? Not yet, we're gonna do it now. But I soak my cotton pad, clean your face. You guys are gonna see my bruising, do not get scared. The reason I bruised so much this time is because I've been taking naproxen, which is basically a leave twice a day since I've had my COVID shot. Um, in order to minimize any risk of pain or um, swelling because I had some swelling after the first one. So when I injected myself with the Sculptra, I definitely bruised more. All right, the Bioderma one is not you here. Have. You can have some. But yeah, so I, you know, gentle, gentle, because a lot of you guys freak out when you're not so gentle around the eyes. Um, I get rid of all the makeup and stuff as much as humanly possible. Okay, like you can I want to fight. show you guys why it is important to double cleanse. I have put on the back of my hands and I have allowed it to dry a very dark shade of sunscreen that I have. This is the Color Science um, SPF 50 in bronze. It is extreme. I am extremely pale. It is as dark as my shirt. We are going to wash one hand just with a cleanser. And on the other hand, we are going to double cleanse using the micellar water followed by the cleanser. And at the end, we will see which hand is cleaner. On my right hand, I am only going to wash it with the Vani Cream face wash. So I'm going to, you're gonna see, it's a, I'm showing mommy, it's a show and tell. So we're going to apply the Vani Cream face wash all over the back of my hand. My fingers try to get it in there we're gonna wash this off 
to see how much gunk comes off. It's pretty good. I mean, the Vani cream is one of my favorite ones, but as you can see, there is still some residual pigment color left behind. So another test is using a white towel. And as I use this white towel, you guys can see there are some residual markings, okay? Hand number two. I'm going to first use the micellar water. It's, it's pretty good, it's pretty decent, but, but it's not enough, crazy. right? Because there's all this extra gunk. So then I'm going to go ahead and use the vanu cream on top to then wash. Okay, I'm going to use the back of the towel for the test. Look at my nose. Pretty darn clean. <laughs> um, so um, you guys can see here and now, like basically, um, one hand is obviously cleaner than the other. There are still some residual marks left behind. This hand is pretty darn clean as the towel does not lie. Um, this was just the Vani cream. This was both, which has a little bit, but not nearly as much as this. So that is the importance of double cleansing. It is time now to wash my face with the Vani cream. And this is called my... Mom. Okay. What is this? It's makeup that I washed off my face. I have it. <laughs> One person's trash is another person's treasure. Okay, I'm here, you guys okay. can see my bruising. Okay, um, this is also why I change my towels every other day. I use one side one day, second side other day, then I toss it in the wash. So once we have done this, twice a week or so, I have recently discovered this product by Environ. This is the Revival Mask. This and I truly love this because it is a it has a combination of lactic and mandelic acid. It is a mask that you put on for 10 minutes or so. Or you can actually leave it on overnight. And then I wash the brush, which is a nice, I mean, listen, in real life, am I going to keep this brush on this whole time? Probably not. I just do it with my hands. I'm doing it for you guys with the brush because it's nice. And honestly, it does feel lovely. The brush clean. This goes over here. And now we wait 10 minutes. We are now going to wash off the cream. Ugh. Um, again, the exfoliation, this Environ mask, I do not do every day. I maybe do twice a week. Okay, one second. I will use this hydroquinone serum, which is from Differin. It has 2% hydroquinone. It is available at any CVS, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, Walmart, you name it. And I use this because I have pigmentation issues, um, tiny little sunspots on my face. And it helps to minimize the appearance of those quote-unquote age spots, sunspots. So this is the one by different. After this one, I like to apply right underneath my eyes Kate Somerville's Retinol Complex. And this is where I put my under eye cream. Um, again, oh. Um, one second, memes. What's that film? It's for me. Oh, I put way too much because I'm biting her. Um, uh, I put this under my eyes. It does sting a tiny bit. Just FYI. And don't get it in your eye. But here we do it. Um, and yeah. So then that is done. And then I will use my prescription of azelaic acid. 15% gel. Also does help with the pigmentation. The A313. Taking over via voiceover because my daughter was screaming at this point. But the A313 was in a macrogal base and it does spread a lot over your face. Now, usually for this sake of this video, I'm using both the A313 and the retinol eye cream. If I am not using the any kind of retinol that night, 
I will just use the under eye eye cream alone. When I am using a retinol, I extend it to underneath my eyes and I skip the actual eye cream itself. But I thought it was a good opportunity to show you guys both. I avoid this area because it does get extremely irritated. So I do not really come around here. I'll do a tiny dot here. I'll go on my nose and then I will spare this area right here. I used to get a lot of whiteheads over here in med school. I used to eat all the black things. So then I will moisturize. Um, the A313 is very thick and occlusive, so it's nice. So I end up not needing that much moisturizer, so, but I do moisturize my neck a lot. I do not put the A313 or the prescription directly on my neck because you will get irritated. The neck is an area that you need to moisturize first. And Taking over voiceover again. <laughs> um, basically, this is why it is so important to get to know your skin and to understand how your skin responds. For the neck, you moisturize first, and then if you want to use the retinol, you use it afterwards in order to minimize irritation. Put cream on this face. Okay. This so anyway, I moisturize, and now I have all night to go cook dinner, put my PJs on, relax, take it easy, and actually let my skin eat up the super active ingredients from all of these products rather than putting it on and hopping into bed and wiping everything off on my pillow. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you guys soon. But we didn't do this. We did that one already. I didn't do did it. You didn't do it? Okay, next time. All right, good night. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God.